Good afternoon everyone, it's Cathy here again from Memories Made Magical. I thought I'd come by this afternoon just to show you a little memory book that I've um, started to make. I haven't quite finished it yet and I'm probably going to change a little bit of the binding. Um, but I wanted to showcase some new papers that I've found recently. They're new to me, obviously they're not new to the market. They're by Chow, Chow Bella. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Ciao Bella papers. They're actually Italian papers and they're made in Italy from sustained trees. So sustained paper supplies, which is which is good. So it not only helps the crafter, but it also helps the planet. Um, this particular Ciao Bella paper is called The Muse. And I liked it because I've got a Italian future daughter-in-law. And when I looked at the first page of the paper, it looks very much like her. And she is Italian and she loves to write and she loves to read. So I thought this was all about reading and writing and some beautiful pages on here. And also my son, one of his favourite, he's he likes to play guitar. And obviously this young lady is his girlfriend and he likes to play guitar. And one of his favourite groups is Muse. So I also liked it because it reminded me of both of them. So this was a six by six pad. It comes with 24 double sided papers and it's 190 GSM. As you can see down the bottom, it says 100% made and printed in Italy. So I wanted to get my cinch machine out because I haven't had my cinch machine out for quite a few years now. I've been making mini albums in different ways, but not using my cinch. And just lately I've been um, visiting YouTube and looking at some of the, the lovely videos I've seen on there of ladies and gentlemen using the cinch machine. So I thought I'd dust it off, get it out of mothballs and uh, have a go using my cinch for this particular album. So as I say, the album is a six by six. So that's the front. And on the front here, I've used a die cut because as you might have seen in my last video, I brought a little die cut haul of some of the die cuts, that, dies that I've um, actually bought recently. And this was one of them. This was one of the this was on the tonic die, which, let me just get that again, just to remind you, just in case someone hasn't seen my last video. This was one of the memory, memory book dies, which is Verso Dimensions by Tonic. And it comes with all the dies to make the memory book pages, but then it also has a separate little die right in the middle for memories. So obviously you can use this die as a standalone without using the memory book pages, which was nice and easy for me. So I just die cut some black card and just literally just glued that on the front. And I just thought with the little splashes of black and there's lots of different black, I've used the black cinch wire, some black cards, so it just stood out. But I wanted the papers to actually talk for themselves because I think these papers are absolutely beautiful. So that's the front of the album. So I'll open it up and then just inside I've popped a little pocket here where you can put some little cutter parts just like that. And for the little pocket I used a die that I got from eBay, I think it was. This is actually for a wedding wedding invitation. And it comes, you can do like a pocket fold invitation. So it has a little pocket and then it has um, a nice decorative edge. So I used the pocket and it's got perforated edges here once you've cut it out. So you can fold nicely and make the little pocket there. So I'm just going to use that just for little journaling spots for her. I've just popped just a little couple of die cuts, little couple of 
sorry, I beg your pardon, cutterparts from the paper. Because as I say, it comes with 24 double sheets. So basically you have 20 double sheets of paper and then you have four sheets of cutterparts. So you get quite a lot of cutterparts in this paper. So I've cut them all up. These are some of the ones you get. I've got some nice little words on them. It says, breathe, darling, this is just a chapter. It's not your whole story. Another nice one here. I've just mounted these. I haven't finished them. As I say, I've still got some to mount onto black card, but a couple of them I did here onto black card. Give them a little bit of an edge as well. Give it a bit more stability. This one says, isn't about the words we use. It's about the emotions we, the emotions, emotions we evoke, which is very true. And there's some with splatters on them. There's another one here. Words, our most inexhaustible source of magic. I don't know if you can see that. Some have got just little spaces on there with some flowers. And then there's another one. And they've got quite a few here and some with, there they've just got some little lines that you can just journal. Some playing ones where you can just write about your photographs. You can have that up probably whichever way you choose. Quite nice, here's another one. I want to write things that people want to feel. I think that's a nice little, little sentiment. There's a nice one there with a fountain pen and some splotches on it. So you get quite a lot of little cutter parts in this little six by six pack, which is really nice. So that's what I used to make the pocket. There are the cutter parts, so I'll move along. And then on the next page, this page is just all script and it's beautiful. Um, but I thought I'd just make a little tuck spot here so she can either tuck some journaling spots underneath. Or she can use photo mat. Pop a photo mat under there. And the photo mats I made, um, and I made them, this is a six by six album, so I made them four and a half by four and three three quarters I think that was four and a half and four three quarters and I'll, I'll show you why in a in just a second so to make that little tuck spot there I use the other half of the die again it's got the perforated edges where you can just literally just turn it over and uh, fold it over and just glue it down and you can either, what I did was I, I put it on black card and I gave it a little bit more card so it had a little bit of a hangover. So what you can do, you could have just stuck that bit down so that and then left the top to open and shut if you want to. I was going to do that originally but then I thought no I'm going to turn it into a little tuck spot. So I literally just, where the edge of it was, I glued that down as well and just left the fancy edge open just to tuck something behind. It was quite inexpensive. I bought that, I think, from eBay. I just put in, I think I put in pocket invitation dies, pocket wedding invitation dies. That's what I come up with. And I think this was about six pounds from a British seller. So that was quite reasonable. And then turning over onto the next page, I've put some pockets, just normal standard pockets on here. There again, you can either pop some journaling spots in, like that, or put some photo mats in. So you can have a photo on there, photo, double-sided photo mats there. To make these tabs for the um, photo mats, it's another little die I've got, which is the Alternew tab die. 
<coughs> excuse me and with this die you get with a set you get two double double dies that you can um, just fold over and stick so there's a plain edge and a scalloped edge and that's the one I used today slightly scalloped edge to make the photo map and then you have two inner dies so that you can put either some fancy uh, you could do it coordinating paper on top or you can just do some white paper with your own writing on just for the middle of the die so that you can um, sort of catalogue your pages on there but I left I left these plain today so that's that and so that was a plain a plain page with the tuck spot the next page I made into a pocket with an inside pocket where you can pull out another photo mat okay and I think I've done four or five of these through the album so as I say the inner pages were the inner photo mats were four and a half by four and three quarters and they fit quite nicely and the tab just shows just there it's a bit difficult to show with the black mat but I think you can see that there so the next one is another pocket and then plain paper plain page rather to take up or oh, just for photo this one says writing is the painting of the voice and it's very shabby chic and it's got some looks like coffee stains and water splashes and stuff like that all the sort of things you'll find in a i should imagine in a writer's studio coffee stains and paint splotches next one again it's another another little pocket and then the back of this paper one of the pieces of paper here you can see on there was just just text so I cut a little bit off to put it there for the pocket the next one I really liked because it looks like a library it's just shelves and shelves of books so I thought that was quite nice next one again another pocket pop in a oh yes another inside pocket there This one's got some lovely flowery paper on it. They're very muted colours, which is quite nice. Quite muted and quite um, gentle, gentle colour coordination it's got here. Another pocket. And then another pull-out photo mat. It's a nice green paper with, again, some more stains on it. I made it quite uniformed all the way through um, just put a pocket on one side and pull out on the other side so she's got plenty of places for photos and journaling and bits of writing if she wants to write something she can pop it in the pockets I think what I'll probably do because as I say I haven't quite finished this album yet what I'm going to do is where I've put this um, tuck spot here I think this looks quite pretty quite delicate I'll probably continue that through so that each each plain page I've got I'm going to put the tuck spot and then where it's a pocket I'll leave that plain and here again another lacy tuck spot probably all the way through the, the book and then as I say gorgeous papers gorgeous papers here it's got one here that's got script on the back. I don't know if you can see that. It's got script on the back with flowers on the front, which is really nice. And a little tuck, a little cut apart rather. Really quite sweet. And then on the back, I've just done another little pocket just to match the one at the front. If you can see, that's one on the back there and one on the front. Some more flowery paper with a couple of little cutter parts. Just 
set this up. And I've also, I think I'm not quite happy. I actually did it with a three quarter, three quarter inch, if I can find my cinch wires. I actually used the three quarter inch wire for the book. Um, that's the three quarter inch wire by We Are Memory Keepers. But I think I've made this a little bit thicker than I intended it to be in the beginning. So I'm probably going to change this and put the inch wire on, cut the um, three quarter inch wire out because it doesn't quite close the way I would like it to do. So I'm probably going to change that and give it a bigger wire, give it one inch wire. OK, so then I um, I just kept it pretty, pretty uniform and pretty plain. So I did the same, did a nice, quite plain cover on the back which coordinates with the front. So I'll be finishing that off and then hopefully just give you a complete, just photographic walkthrough of the completed album. And then when I come back next time, I'm hoping to show you something that I do from this because this is the other um, Chow Bella paper that I purchased recently, and this one's called Zoe and Ziggy. I think Chow Bella papers are probably my new favourite, so I think I'm going to be buying some more because they do lots and lots of different designs and they are beautiful, each and every one. So this is Zoe and Ziggy. And Zoe, I guess, is this little girl. And Ziggy, is her little cat. It's got quite a lot of, I think this was more wintry and Christmassy designs, but I just thought I really liked it. I've got a little granddaughter who's, she's blonde like this little girl and she's seven. So she's probably just a little bit bigger than this little girl. Although one of the little things says I'm five, whoever's in charge of making sure I don't do funny things is fired. Yeah, that sounds about right. Chocolate doesn't ask silly questions. Chocolate understands. Now, I think that's probably quite true, whatever age we are. Um, I probably eat more chocolate than I should do. I'm ready for winter. Who's with me? Well, we had some snow today, so uh, I think uh, I think we're definitely ready for winter at the moment because it certainly looked like winter out there today. And then sunshine mixed with a little hurricane. Well, that sounds about right for my little granddaughter as well. So I was going to make her a little album. So that's the first one. These are double sided again. <coughs> Excuse me. The back of that is snowflakes, which I thought was quite pretty. And they all come with two, two of the same design, which is lovely. And so that one is Ziggy, the little cat. And it's got weird. Please, I'm limited edition. Another one, what would MacGyver do? I'm not lazy, I'm just on energy saving mode. Yeah, sounds like me sometimes as well. I try to be on energy saving mode, it doesn't quite work. So here's one with a little like snow flurry. Again, we could use those as a paper, a whole paper, and then just put some little messages in of our own, or you can cut them up as cut apart, so it's entirely up to you, because they get two of each, which is quite nice. So you get a choice to either cut one up and then keep the other one. That's the back of that one. Oh, that was the other one of the top ones. And that's quite nice. It's got little mittens on it and some snowflakes. Back of that is just some little cartoon of Ziggy and Zoe there. Cartoon spots. This one's quite nice. It's got uh, ice skates, little snowmen, trees, wintry trees. So it doesn't have to be for Christmas. It can be just for winter. We've got some little snowflakes on there. Next one says, my favourite season. Hello, winter. Happiness, fluffy stuff, the most wonderful time of the year. A giggle wrapped in snowflakes. Sparkle, it's a great day. So some lovely little sentiments on there. And that's the back, which is a grey with stars on. And then this one, I think 
is probably oops have to it's probably very similar to that one but just in a different colorway so that's in red Add some browns which is nice and there's the red with stars another one i could hug you for hours good friends don't let you do stupid things alone are you sure our guardian angel can fly faster you and i are more than friends we're like a really small gang exercise i thought you said extra fries only real friends tell you when your accessories suck that's very true. Best friends know your skills and still choose to be seen with you in public, which is lovely. So the nice thing about this as well, and there's little gingerbread men on the back of this one. The nice thing about this is it doesn't have to be just for little girls. It can be, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> oh dear, excuse me. This could be to any, any female friend um, of any age, really. Because a lot of those sayings are very, very grown up, very mature and very true. So that's another one with some nice little squares on there with little faces. On the back of that is green background. Snowflakes. This one looks like a comic book. And it's got different little... Um, little speech bubbles there which is quite nice on the back it looks like a string of lights or a string of snowflakes that one's got some coloured lights and the back of it snowflakes grey snowflakes that one's pretty pretty on the Mac just plain red that's the uh, same as the one that was on the top. This is because I've already had a look through and mixed them up a little bit. Okay. Oh, we've seen this one. There we go. So you get the general general idea. So you get two of each and they're really good value for money. I think I paid about six pounds each, six pounds, six pounds fifty for each paper pad, which I thought was very reasonable price. So I hope you like that little video, just showcasing some Chow Bella uh, papers and a little album. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up press my subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified the next time I upload a video. Um, until next time, thanks very much for watching and take care, keep safe and above all, happy crafting.